morning. I'm Emily Martinez, the 2020-2021 Senior Class President. Please stand and join me in, the, in our flag salute. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing as Emily Irish and Lizzie Lorenzo sing the national anthem.
Welcome friends, family, and most importantly, the class of 2020. Now, some of us met during high school, and some of us have been together since kindergarten. Needless to say, it's been a long ride. All the sleepless nights we spent studying, all the times we scrambled to finish your homework the period before it was due, every project, field trip, final, and all the little things you probably won't remember about high school has led us to this final moment together. And no matter the circumstances, I'm very proud of all of us. Now, I didn't expect my last day of high school to be in the middle of March. I didn't expect not to have senior prom or senior walkout rally or grad night. I didn't expect that I wouldn't be able to hug my friends for a very long time. And I didn't expect that I wouldn't be able to thank my teachers for everything they've done for me on that last day of school. But then again, I also didn't expect to make some of the memories I did while I was at the UHAC. Let's never forget the time our freshman year when there was a fire in the theater and we had to stand outside during a downpour and everyone went home by third period soaking wet. Um, or our junior year when someone would pull a fire alarm at least twice a week. Oh, or when we'd be off water 72 to zero. Good times. Now these are just some of the awesome memories we made as a class among many others. But when I think about our graduating class as a whole, I think of some of the most artistic, ambitious, confident, gr driven, grittiest, smartest, and most gifted people I've ever met. And I am so excited to see the plans God has for each and every one of us. And yeah, times are hard, but we're not strangers to hardship. This I know. And I also know that our response is not to hide, but to face it head on like we always have. We're strong and we'll persevere through anything life may throw at us. And I can't wait to see you all bear the success that lies before you. We will be there for each other even when we're no longer classmates. And that's what separates the class of 2020 from other classes. 
Thank you for the last four years of my life. I'm going to miss you guys. We have a lot of history together, and together we've also made history. Thank you. And your next speaker is Cody Bennett. If I can impart anything to my fellow classmates, I would like it to be hope. The class of 2020 will go down in history books for having one of the toughest school years of all time. We started this year off and still remain in possibly the most hostile political climate our country has seen yet. We have to endure the deaths of many great people, including Kobe Bryant. And when we raided Area 51, we found no aliens. We thought World War III was going to happen back in January. And when that didn't happen, we all sighed in relief, only to be hit by a worldwide pandemic that took away most of the things that we were looking forward to this year, such as our last games, our last competitions, and our last performances. And when we thought things couldn't get any worse, our teachers figured out how to use TikTok. <laughs> so where does this leave us? And how do we rebound from this? Most people are anxious about what they're going to do after high school under normal circumstances. In this ambiguous time, oh, these pages are mixed up. Uh, where are printing these? Uh, okay, can we restart? If I can impart anything to my fellow classmates, I would like it to be hope. The class of 2020 will go down in the history books for having one of the toughest school years of all time. This year, we were shrouded in and continue to remain in an incredibly toxic political climate. We had to endure the deaths of many great people, including Kobe Bryant, and when we graded every 51, well, we didn't find any aliens. We thought World War III was going to happen back in January, and when that didn't happen, we all sighed in relief only to be hit by a worldwide pandemic that took away most of the things that we were looking forward to this year, such as our last games, our last competitions, and our last performances. And when we thought things couldn't get any worse, our teachers figured out how to use TikTok. So where does this leave us? How do we rebound from this? Most people are anxious about what they're going to do after high school under normal circumstances. In this unprecedented time, future plans are even more ambiguous. Will my classes be online? Will I be able to find a job? Will social distancing limit my chances of dating? Well, mine were already limited, but that's besides the point. In a dead, boring, small town that I'm sure we've all complained about at one point or another, it's easy to give up on bigger things. But today, I'm asking that you don't. I know it's cliche, but there's truth to the idea that we can shine the brightest in the darkest of hours. Hope sometimes is just what we need to pull us through times like these. I'm sure by now that we've heard all the stories about great famous people persevering under dire circumstances, so I am not going to divulge into those stories here. If I hear that stupid Dr. Seuss quote saying, oh, the places you'll go one more time, the only place I'm going to go is nuts. But let's remember that it's okay to find inspiration from those corny, overdone lessons. A lot of us have rejected optimism as a glossy, oversimplified way to view life. And it's true that we ought to view the world in a realistic light if we ever do wish to change it. But there is not a chance in the world of reaching that far off crazy dream if you don't even hope for it to happen. Thank you. I would now like to welcome to the stage Jared Hopper.
Going into high school, none of us could have predicted that the end of our senior year would be spent in quarantine. This pandemic has affected us all, but probably more so the admin liaison, so nobody to yell at anymore for being late to class. Which reminds me, congratulations on having no tardies for the final months of the 2020 school year. But more importantly, congratulations. We're graduating high school. For the past four years, we've experienced a tornado, fire drills, standardized tests, more fire drills, heart-forming rallies, intense section games, and even more fire drills. 2020 graduates come from all walks of life. Some of us wake up at 7 a.m. to play an instrument, and the more sensible people sleep in. Some of us take multiple AP classes, while others have a sleep day. 2020 graduates are athletes, students, teammates, friends, procrastinators, farmers, debaters, actors, actresses, engineers, and even the captains. The UF Colony has had the privilege of watching us grow into the people we are today. From freshmen, some of whom ran the class, to seniors, who now have class in a year. But today, we are graduates. And we wouldn't be here without those who love us most. Thank you to our families who supported us. Thank you to the administration that has always had our best interests at heart. Thank you to our teachers who supported us our entire four years and then supported us more during the quarantine. Thank you to the math teachers for trying to teach us why the area circle actually matters. Thank you to the English teachers. Now we know the difference between there, there, and there. You have saved us from, from being roasted on Twitter. Gracias a la profesoras de español. Las otros estamos So on behalf of the senior class, thank you, Matt. And again, we made it. Congratulations. And now I'd like to introduce our athletic director, Rich Kimmel. Thank you. Those good memories. But it's important to recall the struggles and battles we have. 
throughout high school, there are times we were told we couldn't do something or told we couldn't achieve our goals. In a way, all of us can relate to these negative comments because at some point in time, we were doubted, underestimated, forgotten, and challenged. It can even be the closest people to us. My mom once told me I couldn't hold my breath for more than two minutes. Should have seen her face when the hospital said I had been unconscious for more than three times my original goal. Mission accomplished. <laughs> On a real note, throughout these four years in high school, we've been busting our butts and pushing ourselves beyond the leap to overcome these challenges. It's that climb up the mountain, that fight through our own individual hardships that have shaped us into the strong, capable human beings we are right now. For some of us, today was that day we reached the top of the mountain and proved wrong those words, those people that didn't believe. For others, we are still on that path. My message for you today is to continue to accept those challenges, continue to prove those people wrong, and continue to reach your goals. Thank you. Our final speaker at large is Justine Navarro. Thank you. 
out to our performances and games and by checking our report cards like they did when we were in middle school. I've been lucky enough to have two amazing parents that have always been there for me, especially in times when I am waiting last minute and the printer suddenly stopped working. For those of us in speech and debate, this includes everyone that volunteered to judge competitions. Even if your child forced you to do it, your help was still greatly appreciated. It was all of you who prepared us for what's next. We are being launched into adulthood in the midst of a global pandemic, where we have no idea what the new world will look like. We will have our whole life ahead of us. This experience has definitely transformed us. We're coming out resilient. We'll take this opportunity to strengthen our families and communities and reopen and focus on what is more important and necessary in our lives. One of us may help research a new vaccine, create a computer program to help senior citizens with resources or even become a policy writer who makes sure everyone has equitable access to the World Wide Web. Whatever is in store for us, I know it will be great. Congratulations to the class of 2020. Not only did we survive a pandemic, but we survived high school. Congratulations class of 2020. 